What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Harmony and today's video is going to be products that I used up all of 2020 and I'm just going to be basically talking to you guys about all of these beauty products that I've used throughout the year and I'm going to be letting you guys know if I would use them again or if I would repurchase them again or if I like them. Whatever, we're just going to like review these products. So I have been collecting these empty bottles for months now so I figured it's time to let them go and throw them away so that I can you know restart this bag and just put new products because it's like about to start overflowing so anyway let's just jump right into the video if you guys are interested to see what products I used all 2020 then just keep watching I'm just gonna say straight up that most of these products are hair products because during quarantine, I haven't been wearing makeup like that, so I haven't been really going through any makeup like that. There are a few things, I think, but it's mostly like hair and like skin stuff like that. So let's just jump in. I'm just gonna reach in randomly and pull out things. So the first thing in here is the Garnier Fructis Grow Strong Shampoo and Conditioner. Now this, if you guys know anything about me, this is a holy grail. I always recommend this product. And before any of you Monet girls try to come for me and say that it's bad, I don't care. It works for me. I have really, really long hair. My hair is literally down to my butt crack and it's really really long and it's all thanks to these products like I swear by this shampoo and conditioner I don't wash my hair every day I wash my hair maybe four times a month so every week about if that maybe three times a month like I don't wash my hair very often especially not because like I don't do anything to wash my hair like I wash my hair I would say more in the summertime when I'm going to like the beach and going to the pool things like that I will wash my hair more often but during the winter time there's no re really reason to so I wash my hair with this conditioner and shampoo and I really really like it and I swear it has helped my hair grow so if you guys are trying to grow your hair out long I highly recommend to try these two products out you can get them at Walmart Target CVS Amazon pretty much anywhere that you can buy shampoo and conditioner so I highly recommend it and it smells really really good next thing is this Cantu curl activator cream which I have two of them so obviously you could tell I really like it and I have repurchased this so many times like I use this every single day this is a holy grail in my hair routine as well if you guys have curly hair I highly recommend to try it if you guys have thinner curly hair you might not like it so um yeah I'm not exactly sure why the tops are different I don't know they're literally the same product but yeah if you guys have thinner like finer hair you might not like it because I feel like Cantu products are really thick um, but I have super thick coarse hair so it really works really well for me and I really like it also I'm wearing a hoodie like always you guys know me I live in a hoodie I work from home so my uniform is a hoodie and sweats it's just how it is so uh, the next thing is this Dickinson's Hydrating Toner, and I actually have repurchased this. I do use this every single day that I do my... Every day. I, not even if I'm wearing makeup. I don't know why I was about to say that. Every day I use this. Um, after I wash my face, I tone my face with this, and it leaves my skin not feeling super dry. A lot of times toners will like dr suck out all the moisture of your skin and this one doesn't do that this is a hydrating one I feel like there is another one but I've never used that one so I've only used this one and it's the um, hydrating toner with rose water so if you have dry skin and you're looking for a good toner I recommend this one I really like it it doesn't break me out and it doesn't leave my skin feeling dehydrated next thing is this eco style gel I don't even have my edges done today but when I do do my edges or if I do like a high ponytail or a bun or anything that I need to slick my hair back I use this gel I have another one this is my first one that I went through and they have different sizes they have one that I think is a little smaller than this one and they have like a bigger tube of it I just like the this size because I don't go through it too fast um this one I probably went through it in like I don't know maybe like six months to nine months like it took a while to go through this little one and I like it because if I do go anywhere I can oh, I can fit it in my um, like bag and I don't have to worry about it 
being so big and bulky and taking up too much room so i really like this if you guys are looking for an edge gel or something to like slick back slick back your hair i highly recommend this they have different colors i was gonna say flavors they have different like ones they have like an argon oil one they have like a clear one they have like different ones but they all do the same thing but i've only tried this one and i really really like it next thing is this wax so this is hard wax i do wax my eyebrows my lip my armpits and my <laughs> by myself um i started doing it in the beginning of the year during quarantine when the, the salons kept opening and closing and opening and closing and i was like i don't got time i need to wax down there every four weeks so i just decided to do it myself <laughs> so i learned how to do it myself it does hurt um the first time i did it hurt so bad but i think that the more and more i've done it i've been doing it since march like a while um I'm just used to it now and it doesn't even hurt it takes me like 20 minutes to do it and if you guys are not confident I wouldn't try it but if you guys are like me and you're just like fuck it just try it I got all my wax stuff on Amazon and it was really really inexpensive and waxes they be adding up because where I used to go it was like 60 bucks every four weeks and like that's a lot so I just decided to do it myself and this is the brand it's called Serapil Blue and it's hard wax beads and yeah I got it on Amazon and I really like it so the next thing is this herbal essences hydrating conditioner and I really like this for a leave-in conditioner you know just like there's no rules in makeup there's no rules in hair I leave in regular conditioner my hair some people might cringe at the thought but for me like I said I have really really thick hair and it gets really dry so leaving in conditioner doesn't really do anything wrong for my hair it actually hydrates my hair and I like it a lot I also leave a little bit of this one in my hair as well when I get out of the shower but I use this one as a styler so I just put some of this in right after I get out of the shower and just leave it in my hair and then proceed with my hair routine so I really like it I have the bigger size in my bathroom right now the one that has the pump because I use it so often that I just bought the bigger one so I don't run out fast the next thing is this up and up feminine wash for sensitive skin and this is just basically like one of those like Vagisil washes and I really I really like the way that this smells so this is what this one looks like and like I said I'm more into the scent I have been washing down there with just regular bar soap like Dove bar soap and I like doing that too but if I am feeling the vibe I'll buy one of these but I heard that these are not so good for your pH balance. But yeah, I've just been using a bar of soap. So this is not like a must have for me. It's just kind of something that I bought to try. And I didn't hate it, but I also didn't love it enough to just like go out and repurchase it, if that makes sense. Next thing is this Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Now I haven't used this in a while. I ran out of this earlier this year and I haven't yet repurchased it. I really did like it, but sometimes I just like try new products and then I'll just forget about products. So I would repurchase this. I just haven't repurchased it in a while, but I really did like it and it smells really good. It smells like coconuts. Um, Mm, yeah, it smells really good, but I just haven't used it in a while, but I will try it out again to see, you know, I like to switch up my hair products every once in a while so that my hair doesn't get used to the same routine. Next thing is this coconut whipped cream leave-in conditioner from Ren Pure. So I heard about this from my friend on Instagram named Vanessa. She's so pretty. She has the prettiest, longest curly hair ever. And so she was using this and I was like, I need that. So I ordered it on Amazon. I don't know where else you can get it. I know that you can get Ren Pure products at Target and Walmart. And I have not seen this particular product at the stores. So I ordered mine on Amazon. It's like 10 bucks and I really like it. It's a really good detangler. So I just like put it in my hair when I get out of the shower and then use it to comb out my hair this thing is this Avino daily moisturizing lotion and this is just regular lotion um, I do like it but it's really expensive so I don't repurchase it all the time because I do use lotion every day and this is just really expensive so I started using um, 
Jergens. That's the one that I've been using. Just regular original Jergens, and I like it just as much as I like this one. Um, if you have sensitive skin, though, this is good because it is like soothing and it's like fragrance free and it just is nice and moisturizing, but it is a little expensive. So if you're looking for a nice lotion, this is a good one, but if you're balling on a budget, try the Jergens one. Okay, next thing is the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Body Oil, and it was alright. It's not my favorite. I just, I bought it and I used it all and I didn't feel a need to go run back and repurchase it. So, I mean, take what you want from that. It wasn't the, like, best lotion, or sorry, it wasn't like the best oil I've ever used, but it wasn't bad. It just... I don't know, I just buy different oils whenever I go to the store, so this is just one that I went through. Next thing is from the brand The Good Stuff, and this is a Curl Hydration Butter. And I bought this for the smell, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh my god, I love the way it smells. I still have some in here, so I'm gonna have to use that. Um, but yeah, this smells so good, you guys. Like, I would honestly buy it again just for the scent. Not gonna lie, the product is whatever. It's not the best, it's not bad, but it's not like I need it. But the smell, oh my gosh, you guys, like, oh my god, it smells so good. This smell is everything. Next thing is this Olay Ultra Moisture Shea Butter Body Wash, and this one smells really, really good too. I'm a scent girl, I'm all about scents. This one smelled really good. Um, I actually have the bigger one, so I did repurchase it, and I really do like the way that it smells. So if you guys are looking for a good body wash that smells really good and fresh, this one is really, really good. This is the Herbal Essences Set Me Up Beautifully Bold Hairspray, and this, again, smells really good. Just a little bit in here. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm telling you guys, I am such a sucker for smell. Oh my god, this smells so good. Um, I have repurchased this. I repurchase all the time. It's like probably one of my favorite hairsprays. I don't use hairspray like all the time and I'm not using it like to set curls that I curled or whatever. I just use it to kind of just give my hair like a set, but it's not like if I don't use hairspray, my curls are gonna fall out. So if you guys are looking for like an ultra hold one, I cannot recommend a hairspray for you, but if you want a hairspray that smells really good, this is really good. Next thing are these Fit Me loose finishing powders which this is in fair so I just use these to set my under eyes and I really liked it um I haven't repurchased them because I'm using different ones at the moment but if you guys are looking for a good drugstore setting powder I highly recommend the Maybelline Fit Me ones here is another um, coconut curl enhancing smoothie this is just like the small travel size one so if you guys want to try that one but you don't want to pay the whole you know price for the big thing um, try the little one I got it at Target in like the little travel section this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills banana powder and I actually really really liked this a lot just expensive it was real expensive I was like oh my god super expensive so I I'm actually using the Morphe one right now and then also um, One Size Beauty sent me the translucent one so those are the ones that I'm using at the moment but I did really like this and I definitely would repurchase it again it's just really expensive but it is a lot of product so it's um, 0.9 ounces which I don't know if that's like I have to check my other ones but I'm pretty sure that this is way more than the Morphe one but it is this is the Garnier uh, Micellar Cleansing Water. I get these in the travel section um, because I don't really go through them like that. So I just get the little ones and I have repurchased it and I do use it to take off mostly my eye makeup. I just really take off my face makeup with uh, face wash because I haven't been wearing foundation pretty much at all. <laughs> um, I've worn foundation like 10 times this year. I just wear concealer and powder. So I use this to take off my eye makeup when I do wear um, makeup because I use waterproof mascara so this helps take it off so I really like this a lot is the MAC complete comfort cream and I used all of it it's gone I liked it but it was really expensive so I, I it was just not worth the money to me personally um, 
it's just really expensive but if you are a very dry skin girl and you are looking for a good moisturizer that is not cheap this is a good one the MAC complete comfort cream if you guys watch my makeup videos at all you guys know that I'm obsessed with the morphe concealer and you can tell right here because I have three and I actually have another empty one in my vanity and then a new one in my vanity so I have so many of these and they're all the same color this is in C 2.35 this is the only concealer that I use all over my face I'm obsessed and I have a lot of concealers this is by far my favorite and just I cannot say good th enough good things about it the color the finish the coverage just everything about it is just so good and I'm just so obsessed with it so if you guys are in the market for a good concealer I highly highly recommend to try the morphe ones because they're bomb and I promise you you will not be disappointed so this is a foundation that I went through and I actually found this foundation I was doing makeup for a wedding and a girl who I wasn't supposed to do her makeup but she like asked me if I could do it last minute so I did her makeup um, but she wanted me to use her foundation so this was the foundation she had and when I was applying it on her I was like girl foundation is this this looks bomb and so, so I went to Ulta and I bought it and I'm obsessed this is in the shade 2.22 light medium and I love it. it and I like the coloring on this because it shows you like undertone neutral olive they have different you know um, undertones so you can kind of like choose your color easier online and especially right now in stores you can't swatch anything which is so annoying I hate going to Ulta and Sephora because I'm like I can't touch everything so I really like this foundation if you guys are looking for a nice lightweight foundation that's not super matte then you'll really like this if you guys have dry skin I highly recommend to try it if you guys have really oily skin you probably won't like it if you guys are a super full coverage like Estee Lauder double wear kind of girl this is not it at all this is like a very light coverage um, it's just like skin studio skin I really like it a lot and I highly recommend it if you have dry skin next thing is the morphe micro brow pencil and I have three of them because I use these all the time um, I haven't used them recently because I got my eyebrows microbladed but before this was my shit I freaking love these brow pencils they're such a dupe for the Anastasia brow wiz but way way cheaper these are six dollars and they're so good so if you guys go to morphe go get this brow pencil and the concealer obviously i really like them because i repurchased them so many times and i just really really recommend it morphe needs to give me a discount code so i can give you guys a discount you guys can help me out we can help each other out but yeah morphe micro brow pencil is the best brow pencil i've ever used and i am just so obsessed with it this is just a duo lash glue this is not these are not my favorite lash glue but i have repurchased this a million times and i feel like between this one and the brush on one those are the only two glues i really use so you know it's just lash glue preference this is the murad acne control clarifying cleanser i did really like this i would repurchase it i just haven't really because i've been trying other cleansers but if you guys are looking for a good gel cleanser try this one out i got this in like the um the checkout part of sephora where you are like about to pay it's just like the smaller size so if you guys are looking to try a nicer you know not drugstore cleanser try this one out and the last thing is the milani make it dewy setting spray so i'm actually wearing this right now i have two more in my room i just actually repurchased another one because i was about to run out but i really really like this you guys it's so so hydrating if you guys have dry skin i would highly recommend this but the way that i apply this i don't spray it directly to my face anymore because i noticed that when i was wearing eyeshadow or if i had any type of like anything on my eyes it would crease because it would just get kind of oily and so what I started doing is I started spraying this directly onto my beauty blender and then setting my face with that. And I feel like my face is really glowy and I really like it. It looks really healthy and it doesn't feel dry like my skin normally does. I have really, really dry skin, like the most dry skin that you can think of. It's so annoying. But honestly, I would rather have dry skin than oily skin. That's just my preference. But yeah, so if you guys have dry skin, I highly, highly recommend this because it really does hydrate your skin, but be careful when you're spraying it directly onto your face because it will make your eyelids oily. All right, now that I've talked for 22 minutes, <laughs> that completes this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have tried any of these products, 
let me know down below which one your favorite is and if you guys like these videos I will do them whenever I have products that I can talk about and yeah let me know what other videos you guys would like to see from me next don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications follow me on Instagram so you guys get notified when I upload new videos and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys